Hello, St. Basil the Great, Father Ryan Mann here with a weekly video where it's been almost two months since I made a weekly video. I just want to do a few things in this video, and the first one is, here we are in May, and I've been doing First Communions and Confirmations and seeing so many good parents bring their kids to receive the Sacraments of Initiation. Initiated into what? Into the very heart of Jesus, so that they might know his love, his truth, and his power that they wouldn't be guided away from what is good, true, and beautiful by lies and mediocrity and bad examples of our culture, but rather the power of God would keep them who they are, unique images of God. If I had kids, this is what I would tell them about God, that only God can help you find fulfillment, that God put desires in your heart that only his plan could ever fulfill. And the more you pray and seek him and grow close to Jesus, the more that plan will become clear. You will be free, happy, and have a wonderful life. Also, as many of us heard the greatest news ever this week, Governor DeWine is saying we're going to be lifting all health restrictions regarding COVID-19 at the beginning of June. That will obviously affect our communal worship on Sunday mornings, and there will be more details to come about how that will be different, and we can get back to being human, no masks, being able to see each other again, and Christian, worshiping freely our God. Finally, this week is Ascension and the following week is Pentecost. Just as the death of Jesus goes together with his resurrection, so too the Ascension goes together with Pentecost. The Ascension is Jesus taking our humanity into the life of God, which means you and I now, what it means to be human is to be destined for divine life. Second, Pentecost means we aren't left orphans, we aren't left alone. The Holy Spirit is poured into the church so the sacraments, scriptures, and then our hearts become the dwelling place of Jesus. Once again, for all those parents who are bringing their kids to receive the sacraments of initiation, good job being great parents. And for those of us preparing for this weekend, get ready for the Ascension and Pentecost, two very big feast days in the church. And finally, the last great news, in June, we get to have unveiled faces, worshiping together as God intended sons and daughters gathering to worship our Father. May you have a wonderful week in this spring weather. God bless.